We want to coexist. We want to coexist with Dr. Bronner so and the one and only spokesman for the company that puts it down for the 420 FL and the community. The one and only Henry and him. It's a briefcase. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a briefcase made of hemp. This right here, that's what's in the side of Mercedes and BMWs and the paneling of the cars. Did you know China is becoming one of the biggest hemp growers in the world? We didn't allow our American farmers to grow hemp. Food, fabric, fuel, and fiber. This was a gift from David Bronner. That's a superhero. Let's see. Dr. Bronner Soap, $60 million a year company. He's the CEO. He locked himself in a cage in front of the White House a few months ago while the police and the fire department were using the jaws of life to cut into the cage to get him while he had hemp plants next to him. Stripped the seeds from it, crushed the seeds, made the hemp seed oil, which has omega-3s and 9s and 6s, you see, put it on bread to feed the homeless. Oh! oh. And, oh, they begged him to come out. They said, we believe you, sir, just come out of the cage. He made history that day. He has to import hemp from Canada. We love our neighbor Canada. We love them so. But what about our backyard? What about our American farmers? How much hemp seed does he import? 20 tons. Tons. 20 tons of hemp seed oil he imports from Canada. We can bring that to our states here. Hemp is amazing. Dr. Bronner soap, 65 years long and strong. We are one. Help humanity save the world. Hemp it ain't easy.